What's up guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Rusty and yeah, we are at an offload right beside Tifton, Georgia and uh, gonna start this video off pretty sad like and yeah, we just got hit literally right here. Uh, this mirror was twisted all the way around this way and I popped it back into place, but it is, it's busted. Uh, hood is slightly damaged. Headlight is still good it could be buffed out but it's it might be cracked right there bumpers dented in let me show you who hit me this guy pretty much with this trailer and all the way over there so yeah i told him to give me his insurance and uh he's not doing it he said call the cops so you know here we are call the cops i guess we're waiting on them oh sucky situation boys i guess we just sit here and wait for the cops. I don't know what else to do. He told me to call them, so there you go. He's not giving me the insurance. Yeah, pretty much since uh, I work, you know, for this company right here, leasing pretty much. And yeah, they deal with all the insurances and stuff like that, accidents. So yeah, took pictures of his truck, his wheels that damaged my truck. And uh, yeah, sent it all over to them. Now I guess we're gonna wait for the police report, get their insurance and try to grab footage from this dash cam pretty much i've already pulled that memory card it's right here and the problem though is my, my memory card was degrading for a while now i'm not even sure if the footage is on there but if it is i'm gonna show you guys right now And if it's not, then whatever. Either way, they have, I don't know. He, I mean, he's not denying it, so he just said, go call the cops, so whatever. Uh, they'll let them deal with it. At least he didn't pop my steer or anything like that. I can still offload, I guess, and uh, yeah, go from there. Trying to pick up another load, guys. It's only two o'clock. If I can get offloaded, I'll go grab another load. But man, what a crappy situation. I just, this is literally my first accident. Uh, Anybody call 911 talking about? Yeah. Was that you? Yeah. yeah. So I, I just said nobody was hurt, so I don't know why, why they say you, you guys. trying to call. make a report? Yeah, I'm trying to get this guy's insurance. He wouldn't give it to me, so I'm trying to. He told me to call the cops, so I'm calling the cops. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get a report, so. All right, hold on. Let me get. All right. How you doing, sir? Good, Deputy Bellows. Rusty. Rusty. Yeah. Easy. Um parked here just to get offloaded uh guy was turning in and he's parked at the dock right now okay uh i asked him for his insurance because it'll be easier you know but he wouldn't yeah. give it to me he said call the cops so yep i'm just trying to get a report yeah. yep uh the next one over that one over there this ain't by your truck for a second oh okay the officer told me to stay over here because that guy was getting aggravated or something man that guy had definitely some anger issues or something i mean i've seen him coming i was beeping at him like 10 or 5 seconds before he even went close to me and he still floored it and he still hit me and he's a worker he's not a truck driver so he probably doesn't even have a cdl that's that's my guess but this company or wherever this place is they're gonna have insurance so whatever at least they, he didn't pop my steer or anything like that everybody's alive everybody's healthy it's just uh, it, it would be easier if he just you know goes inside the office i went inside the office they said just hold on a second i'm like oh uh, yeah okay so yeah just give me the insurance let's figure this out without the police but if that's how they want it that's how they're gonna get it I don't even know what's going on right now. Whatever, truck is drivable. They're gonna figure it out with the company, I guess, so whatever. One hour later, that's that. Yeah, the damage sucks a little bit. That bracket got bent, the bumper inside got bent. This mirror was twisted all the way over here, but I'm glad it didn't snap off, man. I hate driving without a blindside mirror. It is broken and cracked. I'll tell them to replace it. I mean, they're probably not gonna fix none of this up. They're just gonna get that insurance money and that's it. So, um, I'm gonna check the headlight if it works. It should be fine. 
Yeah, headlight works, the little light on here works, that works. Alrighty, not big deal, I guess. Well, there he goes, chilling. I would wanna like, you know, come up and show you guys his damage and stuff like that. It's just, he was being very, very aggressive. You know, don't wanna get into a pew -pew battle, you know what I'm saying? So, whatever, let the insurance take care of it. And I'm still not docked. It's been an hour and a half. They're actually doing this on purpose now. Let another truck sneak in front of me, wait. That one right there they said is next. Ah, uh, yep, right when you get on somebody's nerves, even a receiver, shipper, whatever. Yeah, they make you suffer a little bit. What am I gonna do? Nothing, can't do nothing about it. My goodness, dude. What is wrong with this place? That guy right here that's backing in right now just hit this other trailer. <laughs> what the heck, dude? <laughs> What is wrong with this place, man? Oh my goodness, bro. Come on. Oh, he doesn't care, dude. He's just like, dude, screw it. Damage his doors a little bit. Ah, oh, bro. Yep, still here, guys. Four hours in, and they finally, finally started to offload me. So the second shift guy came in and started doing it. Oh, they got a forklift guy left that hit my truck. Oh man, he has some bad news for me, boy, because I got a YouTube channel. I really don't want to, you know, put this place on blast too much. But yeah, there is, I don't know, there's weird cash deals going on on the side over here. A lot of people dealing with dollar bills while holding produce. It's it's weird stuff and i'm not gonna say what ethnicity they are working here i think you guys can guess already but yeah oh man bad review i, I left it on google's but yeah if you guys want to find out exactly what this place is I'm not gonna blast them on my youtube channel if you want do your own research i think you'll find out if not leave them alone it's okay it's probably just this one bad apple that that forklift driver and that's it but yeah, they're almost done, and I just booked a load maybe 15 miles away from here, heading into Greensboro, South Carolina, or is it North Carolina? I think it's, oh yeah, it is North Carolina. So yeah, not bad. Like always, guys, stick tuned till the end of this video to find out the load rates. I will give you this load rate. Pretty much I'm loaded with a bunch of pallets. I will give you that load rate and the one that I'm about to pick up right now. Alrighty, we are out of there. And just in the nick of time, I think I'm gonna make it to this pickup. I'm not quite sure though. We are only 11 miles away. So yeah, we'll see. The broker said they'll wait up for me. It's supposed to be 4.30 at the latest, but now they're, they bumped it up to five and it's a, I'm gonna only be there about 5.10, 5.15. So hopefully I don't sit around for nothing. I'm, I'm gonna have to sit around and just pick it up tomorrow if they don't let me pick it up today. Hopefully not though, I need to get some miles under my feet today. Gotta make that money. We are docked up and they are loading us pretty fast. It's kind of weird actually, I shut up here and there was, I don't know, 20 trucks in line right here and they let me cut through. Not sure why, maybe after all this BS with this accident, God is looking down at me hitting me i guess i don't know but my head is killing me i still got like 300 miles to go i think i'll have enough time but it is getting dark yeah what an interesting day and we are out of here we got like 300 or 400 miles to go it's already six o'clock kind of tired but it is what it is gotta keep on trucking <laughs>
All right, boys, just got offloaded. Old school peak right here. Kind of a mess around here, but yeah, guys, I floated and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my Raycon for this specific load. You guys know the other, uh, I guess, uh, rate. So this one is paid out about $1,350 and the mileage was under 500 miles. So it was like right there around Tifton, Georgia up towards uh north of charlotte so yeah not bad not too bad but yeah the rates are kind of stinky right now really can't do much about that but the worst the worst thing is you know this damage but you know i guess everything's fixable now i won't be like you know scared of hitting a deer so i guess that's i guess that's a plus just might as well slam into them actually did i tell you guys yeah so i started in jacksonville florida i took a load to tifton for 700 bucks that was on monday morning and that was that's when i arrived and you know before noon time try to offload real quick to grab another load to do a double hitter today and uh you know this accident happened and then that guy didn't want to offload me and i still grabbed a load and i still completed another load so total was about 700 miles i did a 700 dollars on one load and then 1350 on the other load so you know a little over two thousand dollars yesterday was not too bad but with these six dollar diesel prices yeah my profits are pretty slim there so yeah don't really expect much there but it's okay hustled out it's not bad did you know wreck a little bit but not my fault it's all gucci you know what i'm saying so yeah like always guys stay tuned for more videos my rebuild video more trucking video some of the vlog videos that are coming up yeah like always be blessed deuces